just touch on long COVID for a moment because if most people with COVID don't end up in the hospital, how many people have long COVID and how do we know who's most at risk for this? Yeah, so, um, you know, one of the things that I think the early sort of focus on COVID was all in the ICU, all in the hospital, but we realized 80 to 90% of people with COVID never end up in the hospital, right? It's largely an outpatient disease taken care of by primary care physicians, taken care of by urgent care physicians. Um, so we initially started to see, boy, these people who get discharged from the ICU, the hospital, they're not necessarily better after a month or two or three or even longer. Um, but then we started to see all these um, support groups crop up. We realized that that 80, 90% that didn't end up in the hospital, a chunk, 10 or 20% of those people were still not better after two, three months. Um, so we're starting to see, we're starting to see more and more um, studies on that, but we're also hearing from employers at the UHG level where they're saying, you know what, 10% of our workforce that got COVID they're having trouble getting back to work. Mm. Um, so we're realizing this is a huge problem. Um, it looks like there is some sort of higher risk to being a woman, which is which is difficult. It looks about 60, 66% of the people reporting long COVID um, are female versus male. Um, the more severe your acute um, COVID, the higher your risk. But again, we've seen people who had asymptomatic acute COVID go on to develop long COVID as well. So there's different risks, but boy, are we seeing millions and millions of people out there who are struggling after COVID, um, not just a two-week infection for many people, months and months of disability.